Andrew McCaw, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Manchester, delighted to be joined by Hopi Price. You've just made your professional debut, a solid four round under your belt against a tough opponent. How did you find it? You know enjoyed what? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Well done, your man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it, but uh, like you say, I come back day uh, after the first round. Dave said to me, he's never been stopped. Don't go look for the stoppage. Get behind your box and been doing what we've been doing in the gym, really. So that was it. Something is beneficial for a young boy, a young man like yourself, coming out of the amateurs to get the four arms on the belt because then, then you know you can do with ease. Four arms is nothing to you now. You know you can do it. So 100%. it's all good and well and good getting the stoppages, but like I say, it's probably yeah. Dave will probably echo that as well. Well, we've been to, like I said, I've been over to the LA sparring in the wild card and that, and I've been sparring like fight's been doing 12 rounds and I've been sparring 8 rounds and, and like you say I've been getting ready to Dave's trying to make me into a 12 round fighter as, mm -hmm. as you say so I've been working on the first couple of rounds having a look then break them down as the fight goes on obviously 4 rounds is a bit of a sprint and but he's boxing good kids that kid mm -hmm. I could have gone in there and boxed someone who's just going to fall down and, in the first 30 seconds or something but I think Dave told Eddie to, to get me someone who's going to try and come to win like you say that kid's boxing, boxing good fighters mm -hmm. and he's never ever been stopped so I've seen a, I've seen him quite a number of shows and he's boxed some guys that are like 13, 14 you know, and took them with six rounds, eight yeah. rounds as well. So he's drawn a couple of rounds with a couple of them as exactly, well. And, uh, exactly. So you got a shot out there, but uh, again, like I said, it's valuable to get the four rounds under your belt. But yeah. is there a little bit of disappointment that because uh, you've got a huge crowd there? Yeah, I bought a huge crowd, like you say, come all from not all not just Leeds, but they all come from all over. Mm -hmm. But um, at the end of the day, no, I'm happy with my performance. Um, not disappointed. About not the disappointed about the stoppage, really. The stoppages will come. Mm. I, I'll, I'll put them away when it matters, but just for now, like I say, I want to keep boxing good fighters. Fighters, what I'm going to learn off. You're not going to learn off if you go stop some some, exactly. some bomb really in, in 30 seconds. You're not going to learn off. Obviously, it's good for the fans, but I prefer to stop someone in, in a title fight, and that's when it really matters to me. For now, I'm just learning. Yeah, you're 19 years old. Every day's a learning day at this stage, isn't it? Um, I would ask you, really, like, for somebody at Super Bantamweight, you're standing taller than me. Yeah. I mean, how tall are you? You're uh, five eleven. So five, I've, some people say I'm six foot, some five eleven. Actually, like, uh, one of the people who measured me said I was five ten, but I don't think I'm five ten. But yeah, but to be honest with you, I made the weight very easy for this for this fight. I had not really no nutrition on some board, just done it myself, and I made it comfortable. To be fair, so. And super band and weight, where you're gonna hang about for the next? Super band and weight's where I'm gonna hang about with whilst I'm comfortable. And if you're building six foot, that's quite a, <laughs> that's yeah. very freakish, isn't it? Well, six foot super band and weight. Um, oh, yeah, nobody's definitely. gonna want to fight you. No, I don't <laughs> think so. And. Uh, Maybe want to get past like um, <coughs> ten and all, yeah. and or something. Maybe a couple of fights underneath the belt, and Eddie and Dave says he's off the lease. That's when I think more people won't want to fight me. Okay, what's the biggest difference then? You just had your professional fight. What's the biggest difference from the pro and the amateur game? What, what, what uh, did you find different in there? The build-up, more than anything. Mm -hmm. The the the, the press, press conferences, the the weigh-ins. Weigh but to be honest, I enjoyed it a lot more. I felt more comfortable. I felt, I felt more relaxed here than I did in an amateur fight. I felt like when I got in the ring, I thought, oh, I'm going to be a bit, a little bit nervous, but I wasn't. I, I felt real calm, and like I said, I had, I had a big support as well, coming down from all over. And obviously, you could hear them all in the crowd, and I thought it showed quite a bit of maturity just to listen to Dave and not rush in and try and go for the stoppage, just to, just to stick to my boxing. What's next for you then? Uh, you open for a fight before the end of the year? I'm open for a fight before the end of the year, so I think, I think I'm going to be out for the end of the year, maybe December, and then um, have a little little rest over Christmas and then straight back at it, get out as much as possible next year or whenever Dave and, and Eddie says really. I know this is, this is quite a tough question to answer but uh, this is 12, no, 12, from, 12 months from now with this camera in your face like I'm doing right now, where would you like to be? What would you like to be telling me? Belts, titles, money? <laughs> I'd like to say from a year from now I want to be, I know I won year I'm only 19 I'm not going to be at a title but I want to be near enough there. I know boxing skill wise, boxing brain, I'm ready. I'm up there with the British and, and, and champions now in, in boxing level, but I haven't got the, the experience in, in like professional ranks, like under the lights and, and the, the distance yet, obviously. So I'm not saying oh, I'll be him, I'll be him. I'm just saying boxing wise, in my own brain. Do you want to be on the cusp of sort of British? Cusp of the British, yeah. British title. I, I, I think once they let me off the lease, I, I'm do the distance comfortable. I think a lot of them will be in trouble. I know you've got a huge fan base out there, so I'll let you go and get going out and see your fans. Thank and, you uh, very much. Again, thank you to this Fightful TV. Thank you, Pleasure meeting you this weekend. Well. This is the first of many. Thanks I'll so much. Many more. Thank, thank you. you.